morning. We are on our way. Hopefully we don't get too much traffic to Corona, California. I've got a forged carbon steering wheel being installed today. Super excited about that. I've, the ricer in me has always wanted the uh, F1 LED style shift lights, whatever they call it, Ferrari shift light style. I don't know, everybody calls it something different. Long story short, shift lights on the top of the steering wheel is gonna look so good. Right now with the OEM steering wheel, this leather, it's, it's just like the R8 was. I can't stand it. When it gets really hot, it gets really sticky. And in California, when we're driving, you know, it, it gets, 90, 100 degrees outside all the time. So it's pretty normal. Um, and this always has like this kind of weird sticky feeling. Right now it's fine because it's cold, but yeah, I, I can't stand it. Um, but not only that, we definitely have a lot of plans for the car that include a ton of forged carbon. So that is the goal. Uh, forged carbon, front bumper, side skirts, diffuser, and I'm definitely gonna want the steering wheel to match. The nice part is, if you guys noticed um, in the last video, the purple accents on the twin turbo kit, that is gonna also be a recurring theme. So you'll see that right now with the steering wheel in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool updates coming through, so that's gonna be number one, and then Oh man, this week we finally got the title in the mail, so we gotta go register this thing, so that'll be not so fun, but hey, it is what it is, right? You gotta pay to play, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, sit back and relax for a few minutes. We are gonna head out and uh, see how long this install takes. Um, I personally don't have the mental capacity to install it on my own, including whatever electronics that go along with plugging in to make sure that it's reading the shift lights correctly. Uh, not me. I, I have, I, I can't, I'm not a, like, I basically don't install any of my own stuff, which is really embarrassing to say, um, but I uh, definitely have more money than brains. So we are lucky. Mark from MD Lux happens to be in California. They are a company based out of New York normally, but uh, he's got a couple of Huracans that he's working on today. Uh, so he actually let me know, hey, I'm gonna be in town this week. Uh, he's bringing my steering wheel, he's installing it for me. So straight from the source, it's gonna be really nice. Uh, yeah, let's see how the finished product looks like. Oh my God, I put the camera down at the exact perfect time. I'm just chilling, going like 70. People are literally passing me on their way to work. I'm like nearly in the slow lane and I saw a highway patrol as soon as I put the camera down. I'll tell you, these California highway patrol are relentless. I was doing nothing wrong and immediately I'm like, feel scared for existing on this freeway, man. Um, but I'll but you know what, on the other side of that token, they definitely do their job and they do it well because everybody starts driving real slow. Which also reminds me, this tint still has to go. The front windshield tint actually looks really good. Unfortunately, I'm starting to really fall in love with it. It matches the side tint as well. So it's got like a nice even look, right? All the way around the car. But it's, it's literally begging to be pulled over because Tint already isn't allowed, but windshield tint is just asking for it at this point. Oh my God, do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a Hummer EV? What? Hummer EV, I've never seen one of these in person. That is sick, they're huge. I've got the Model Y, and then when I park the Model Y next to a Model X, I'm like, the Model X is huge compared to the Model Y, but that Hummer EV is way bigger than both of them. I've never seen one in person. Um, I've seen a couple for sale for like 40 grand over sticker, but pretty neat seeing it in person. Uh, the EV world's definitely getting a lot stronger. I uh, definitely have some big wants for a Taycan Turbo. After I've seen a couple in person, uh, big must. I think that's gonna be the next move is selling the Tesla for a Taycan. EV is definitely something that I want to get more experience with and actually take one to a track um, for the performance reasons, not for like saving gas and blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, pretty neat find. Man, this car is gonna get me in trouble with like all of this open room. First 
first of all, this is just, this is some cruising vibes right here, but man, even, even in Strada and in automatic mode, what a lot of people now, of course it's a Lambo, it draws all the attention, so a lot of people will like line it up with me on the freeway just to kind of see me do a pull, or maybe some people are cocky enough to think that they could win, but the very second you give it a little gas, but then here it is I see it and I know I'm in the right place is that a performante or is that just a 1016 from bumper man I don't know but it looks good okay so here we are here is the forged carbon steering wheel let me actually get a little bit of a better lighting angle on this there we go I told you that purple is gonna be a reoccurring theme we've got the purple stitching going all the way down forged carbon fiber shift lights and he's already getting started. It's funny, I know all they did was take off the steering wheel so far, but doesn't that look so weird? It's so odd to see cars start getting taken apart, but look at that. That is going to be so killer. So with that purple theme, we are going to be continuing on the brake calipers next. I don't think I'm going to go full purple. I'm thinking brake calipers will be maybe like white with purple lettering. I'm kind of liking that, a more subtle hint, not like a full blast of purple, but also not sure. Full purple calipers with white lettering might look good too, but white and purple is definitely the way to go. I'm even wondering if I could redo the stitching on the entire car. Is kind of like that Lamborghini orange, you know? We've got the orange coming through on the seats as well. I am gonna have MD Lux completely redo my seats eventually, but for now, we definitely need to update because this color scheme is about to get really weird. But let's just take a second to appreciate all of this forged carbon. So we've actually got, I heard, a supercharger VF engineering under there, 800 horsepower. Forge 1016 carbon diffuser with that nice little stripe to match the wheels, like a bronze wrap stripe. Actually really complements the car, nice black and bronze. Full 1016 carbon hood. Perfamonte style front bumper with the forged carbon lip all the way across. Bronze striping all the way through to match the wheels. Man, this guy really looked at every single detail. The fender vents. I mean, and it's a spider. Spider is what I initially wanted. I really wanted a spider the very first time I started looking at Huracans, but they're so expensive to find and they're so beaten up. The very few that I actually saw for sale had like a ton of miles on them and they were terrible, terrible condition. Um, and I just got a great deal on my coupe, obviously. But man, could you imagine the sounds coming out of a twin turbo spider with the top down going down PCH? It's, it's a dream. And we are all done. Man, I was on my phone for like maybe a little while. I was actually planning on doing like a little time reel on him installing it, but it was so quick. So we are good to go forged carbon fiber Alcantara grips. We got the purple stitching and even best, we got the purple LED shift lights that do go up. And then when they redline though, it is red, but uh, yeah, we've got the purple LEDs. Oh man, it is a completely different feel in this thing now. Now I really want the carbon fiber vents. Forged carbon vents would match so nicely. 
And you know what? I opted out to not get the forged carbon paddles because I was like, you're not even going to be able to see them behind the wheel, you know? But that black spider Huracan was getting a forged carbon wheel too, and it got the carbon paddles. Regret. That thing looked so, so good. Story of our lives. Come on. I just got a new cool shift light steering wheel, and we are going six miles an hour. Oh, oh, look. As soon as I say something, oh look at that, we got up to 18 miles an hour. It's like a, it's like a new record. Bumper to bumper traffic everywhere, all the way back to work. I definitely see why people are leaving California. Okay, so obviously we have to test the lights for scientific purposes, right? Research purposes. Let's see. Oh, they already started lighting up more. I'm over 4K RPM. but hey we definitely uh, know they work but I think we need a little bit more testing I don't know come on like we have a tunnel coming up here on the left and I'm stuck behind a van we're gonna have to go real slow that way we can maybe get a little pull out of it oh here we go it opens up into a different lane so that might still work and we gotta let the turbo spool and get it pushes you back against the seat and then you just like can't breathe for like two seconds it's crazy all right here we go for the research we got to make sure these things work i think i just sounded like the pillsbury doughboy man there is no room come on usually these streets are empty all right here we go perfect lineup just a few minutes away from work I'm gonna go ahead and calm down before I get myself into trouble that's gonna do it for today's video but uh, remember this this is what we work for boys super exciting I'll see you guys in the next video